evening, everyone. This is Anka Metcalf with TradeOutloud.com. Uh, it is Sunday, June 24th. It is 9.53 p.m. Eastern Time, and uh, this is the market outlook for this week. Uh, current, currently, the indices are trading into the red. The Imidy Dow is down 110 points as of right now, 112 now, 0.46% to the downside. And we're just about to complete a bear sandwich. Uh, under 24.440, we may have a further continuation lower if we break the support level at this uh, at this uh, zone. Uh, we may have a continuation lower back into 24.340, so that's about 100 points lower, and a further continuation into an area of confluence here at the 24.260, and also you could see that uh, very close, to, we, we have uh, the 200 SMA very close to this prior area of support right here, which we could probably tap on to a double bottom formation. Uh, currently, the hourly chart for immediate price action, we're testing support, uh, 24,440. This is the area that I've mentioned. If we break below this area, like I said, there is an open tradable void all the way to the 24,340 and into the 24,290 uh, until we tap onto that confluence area. Let's continue with the m and &E S&P 500. Right now, down 12 points. 0.46% and uh, let's move to the daily chart. Full uh, bear sandwich completed. We're actually trading lower a little weaker. 27.47 is support. We've breached that level. We're continuing lower. We have the next level of confluence, which is uh, a minor and major support level, all uh, both at the 27.35 zone. If this area should be breached, we're about 10 points away from this area. The price may accelerate lower into this congestion all the way to the 27.18 to 27.20. And if we don't see a reversal off of this minor support level that was formed from back on 4.18. So you see this resistance point right here. This is what is creating the support level right here at the 27.18. Plus we have the 50 SMA at the same location as well. If we break through this support level, then again, we may see a further correction down, probably base into the 75, 26.75 to 26.64. Uh, uh, let's move to the hourly chart. Here is the major support level at the 27.40 zone. And uh, as long as these highs are not gonna be taken out, the 27.68, we may have more pressure to the downside. And I think that the way the charts are looking right now, we may have another push lower uh, into the overnight trading session and most possibly into tomorrow's trading session. I will update you tomorrow in the pre-market game plan uh, as we're getting ready for the New York trading session open. Let's move on to NASDAQ that is already down 29 points as of right now, 0.3% to the downside. Uh, we're going to move to the daily chart. The daily chart suggests that the price is trading into support right here at the 7176 level. We're also into uh, the 20 SMA and also into this prior support level right here. So we're trading into a support zone. Uh, NASDAQ continues, continues to be one of the strongest indices. Uh, and also uh, percentage-wise as well, uh, if we break through this support level, then we may see a further continuation lower. Uh, what I want to share is actually a very interesting chart, and that is the monthly chart. Uh, let's see, the monthly chart right here, this is where the price is trading. So you can see that the, from this prior high, the price is trading right into this prior high from March. So what this means for price action is that if the price is not going to stabilize and reverse from this point onwards back to the upside, we may still see a further correction to the downside. And the weekly chart is actually a little bit more interesting because it shows us that it has about 40 points until 40, maybe 40 points until it reaches the uh, a, a consistent support level here. And this is a minor support level at the 7155 to 7150. If this level is gonna be breached, most likely we will pull in 
all the way into the uh, 7050 zone and the 7050 zone is also a confluence area from this prior high setting minor support for current price action and also tapping onto the 10 exponential moving average all right so let's move on to the hourly chart to determine just okay just one second here all right here we go maximizing the sell so as you can see here from uh, Friday's trading session, we had a straight flush bar to the downside, testing prior support, pullback, uh, price stabilizing at the 200 moving average and reversing back to the downside, tapping onto the prior low that was set into the New York trading session. Very shallow pullback in the overnight trading session. And as you can see right now, another flush bar to the downside. So we have pretty much our patterns, uh, 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 our pattern set. So there are more sellers and buyers that are having a hard time pushing the price a little higher. Now, this is a major area of support right here at the 71.75. If, if the price is gonna breach through this level of 71.80 all the way to the 71.57, uh, uh, below 71.50, we may see a push to the downside. I will wait for that 71.50 to be tested in order to uh, begin some shorts. And I think that maybe perhaps this week will be, we, we may see some more shorts that are gonna be setting the stage. Uh, for a further continuation lower. But once again, keep in mind that uh, we did mention the fact that on the daily chart, NASDAQ is still trading uh, into a support level at 7180 zone. So we're not gonna be very aggressive here uh, as in terms of shorting. And keep in mind that uh, we may still see a reversal. So if the price should trade over 72.73, uh, these are the high, these highs right here. So first, uh, first uh, test is going to be into the 72, uh, 72.50, uh, the second test into the 72.75, then we may see that reversal back to the upside. So it is up to the overnight trading session right now to see how we set the stage uh, for the New York trading session. So keep in mind, we are on to support right here. I know I have been bullish for a very long time. But uh, I am uh, going to watch for some short uh, for some short uh, trade opportunities. Last but not least, RTY, uh, and uh, we're going to move to the daily chart right now. RTY trading below prior uh, trading below Friday's low, uh, testing that low again, and I think that RTY has a very interesting bar. Uh, on the weekly chart. So weekly chart looks uh, like uh, pretty much like a doji, very little color within the bar. If we trade below 1675, I may enter a short uh, and actually for a possible swing all the way into the 1650, so for about 30 points into this area. So I'm actually gonna set an alert here at the 75 level because it really looks, um, uh, it really looks very, very appealing at this level. So a break below the 1675 may push the price lower back into the 1650 to 1645. Uh, for immediate action, I'm gonna go to the early chart. And uh, so far, this is pretty much support. So keep in mind that we have bounced, currently we have bounced from any level of support uh, that we've had and that the price created. Uh, so now this is going to be the real test. The way uh, the market is reacting right now looks a little bit weaker on Friday and on Thursday. We had pretty weak price action. Uh, and if on Monday or Tuesday we should test these levels uh, to the downside, we should start uh, thinking and putting on our short caps. All right, short hats. Okay, uh, let's take a look at gold, uh, gold and oil. I will be reviewing gold and oil for uh, tonight. And I'm going to move to the daily charts. Uh, gold, uh, we have, when actually um, I sent out a pre-market game plan on Friday uh, for gold and we've actually noticed this candle right here, which suggests uh, that we may see a reversal back into this point, 1272.5. We may see uh, a reversal off of this point. We're grinding a little higher here. Uh, however, the weekly chart suggests that we're still into, um, 
into a, a lot of support. Let me just show you what I'm looking at right now. So we're still trading into a lot of support from these prior lows right here. Uh, I would be more bullish if the uh, if gold will trade over uh, 1287. I haven't had a trade in gold. Uh, I think that gold continues to be very, very choppy. Uh, and uh, I see a high risk um, uh, high risk compared to the reward. So definitely an asymmetric risk when it comes to trading oil for me right now. Uh, the monthly chart, it is trading still on this cluster of support right here. So that's why it's having this, uh, this choppy, choppy price action. However, I cannot uh, but observe the fact that we had the pullback right into the 20 moving average. And uh, I'm going to have to see, I'm going to keep it on watch to see how this price action reacts here if we're going to get a reversal. Uh, and if this reversal should come, uh, the daily chart should be the first chart that we can see the reversal on. And also the one hour is getting the bottoming effect right here. Uh, and this was on Thursday, Friday, we got a little bit of move up. Uh, we have another shelf of support that is higher than the prior low that was established. And currently right now in the overnight trading session, still very early. Uh, it's only 10 o'clock, but uh, we have an alternate level of support here at the 1271. Uh, immediate price action, obviously if it trades over 1274, we may see a little bit more push to the upside, most likely into the 1277. But it, since it has an asymmetric risk for me right now, I'm not even going to consider it. So at this point, it could go in either direction. All right, one of our winners uh, is oil. Uh, I pointed out this uh, bull flag formation on Friday in the pre-market game plan. We had the really nice rally into uh, Thursday session and uh, in the overnight trading session into very close to midnight, pull back through the European session and the breakout that happened at the New York trading session uh, at 66.70. This was the stop loss area, the 66, uh, and a continuation higher that actually took the price right into the 69, actually over 69, $69.39 pullback now. Uh, I'm gonna be watching these pullback zones. Um, it is very interesting to note the fact that we are pulling back right into this minor support level at 68.10. Uh, and also the price is uh, hitting the 50 SMA right now. So uh, depending on how the overnight trading session is going to behave, we may be looking tomorrow for some continuation. If this support level is gonna hold at $68, we may see a continuation back into the 69, 69, uh, 30. So uh, this prior uh, resistance area uh, was mentioned and uh, $69 come target zone came from these prior highs that were set throughout the month of April. This is the base right here. And in fact, we did uh, mention this continuation higher, this base breakout for a continuation higher. So this pullback, this is a rocket bar right here. Pullback, these um, uh, setups may offer alternate, uh, even better opportunities for a continuation higher. Uh, further targets for oil are going to be into the $70. And a $70 is going to be taken out uh, and the price is gonna slice right through the $70. We may see a continuation higher back into the 72s and even the 72s 50s. So this pullback into the 68, reversal at this point, it is very important to see how the overnight price action is going to um, is going to uh, react, um, and uh, so far very shallow pullback, sixty eight dollars still still holding. Like I said, we uh, we have to look at the sixty eight. So in fact, sixty eight twenty to sixty eight dollars. This is going. This is the area that it needs to hold uh, right now. Um, and uh, last but not least, you know, I'm going to consider bonds again and going to take a quick look at bonds. This is the weekly chart of finally trying to break a little bit to the upside. This may be uh, setting up uh, for a run into next week. Uh, 144.24. Um, 
we if we see the price trading over 144.24 uh we may see an acceleration uh into the 145.30 and that is the target zone area uh so this is what i'm watching right here into the 144.20 acceleration higher into the 145. Uh, from the daily perspective, um, I like the fact that uh, we're holding the 144.30. Once again, we're uh, discussing a minor support level from prior price action, and that is from uh, the month of April and throughout the month of June that is creating a shelf off support here right into the 144s. Uh, immediate price action, uh, the price is already, uh, is already moving higher and it is trading right into this prior high into the 144.17 to 144.25 uh, 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 for day traders that are looking for trades and bonds uh, I will look for a continuation higher we're having a, a, a bull sandwich right here so the bears are trapped uh, possibly 144.10 may hold for the overnight trading session. If this overnight trading, if the price at 144.10 is going to hold through the overnight trading session, we may see the acceleration higher. But keep in mind that we really need to digest these prior highs for uh, this reversal to start gaining some momentum. Uh, and once the momentum starts, uh, it may push the price into, uh, it may push the price uh, uh, over 144.24. So uh, I still think that we still have some room for a continuation higher. Um, this is all for tonight. Thanks so much for tuning in for more uh, trading ideas. You can uh, definitely follow us on Twitter. It is twitter.com forward slash trade out loud. And also don't forget to sign uh, to subscri subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you want to uh, subscribe to our trading room, uh, visit, it, uh, visit our website for more information.